Hey guys, Morbidos here, back with another Tech Time. And yeah, I know the computer is the wrong way. Uh, we're working on the backside today. Uh, recently, I got this comment asking for information on how I actually connected up this little guy, which is the Aqua Aero 6 from Aqua Computer. And I thought, yeah, I'll do a video on that. And um, I had to wait a little bit for travels and stuff. And I came home from travels to find my computer being off. And I thought, hmm, I haven't seen any other signs that the power has been out. So that's odd. Let's turn it back on and it says CPU fan error. So, okay, that's weird. And uh, open the back just to find that this guy, I hung him from here with one screw on one corner and some sticky stuff on one of the others. Uh, and I kind of hope that was okay. It was okay for a little while, but the screw came loose from the pump vibrations and it started sagging. And it was actually hanging off of this guy for quite some time apparently because it ripped the cord or the plugs out of the motherboard or the board and um, I had to actually reflow the, um, the the soldering to get it to work because uh, now it works and it's sending the RPM signal again so I decided I couldn't have it there anymore, I had to move it. So I've rearranged it a little bit, done some cable management, it's okay enough, I guess. Um, I won't be able to see it, so if, it, if I can't see it, it's not there. But uh, I've moved this guy down here now, so I'm just gonna mount this and connect it up and I'll tell you a little bit about how it's done. Okay, so this is basically how I use it. You can do a lot more with it if you want, but I really just need the basics, so this is how, how I've set it up got my temperature sensors up here. I rely on uh, a couple of hardware sensors and uh, the rest is basically software. Um, this is where the feed to the RPM signal or the CPU fan, uh, this one goes up to the CPU fan header on the motherboard. This sends, currently this sends the RPM of the pump to uh, the CPU header so that my, mo my motherboard knows that it's running. This is the plug for the pump. Since I'm using a Aqua computer pump it uses the Aquabus to communicate with the pump uh, and it allows for a lot of uh, integrational stuff that's really really cool and I'll show you in the software afterwards. Uh, this is the USB connection to the computer so the software can talk to the board and over here I've connected my flow sensor and you have four fan headers over here. I've only, I'm only using three at the moment. I was currently using four before but I had to move one due to short cables and it really doesn't matter. The, that fan just blows a little bit air onto the voltage re regulators on the CPU. Here's the power connector of course. That's important. Molex power and uh, you can connect some power outputs here and also there's a relay connection here. If you want to use that for something you can set it up to, you know, CPU is going warm, turn on a red light next to your computer if you want to. And um, we're here there's also a speaker if you want it. You can go meep, 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 meep. every time your computer gets hot or not. Uh, it's basically set up, or the software is basically set up so you can do almost anything that your heart desires with it. After revisiting my old video, I figured out that I've done more than a good enough job to explain how the software is set up and how you could go about setting it up yourself. So if you want more information on that, I suggest you head to the video in the description below and check that out.